they were in Luke chapter 7. And that means that we are one week in to our reading through the Gospel of Luke this Christmas season. And the main takeaway from today is to love much, even if we have very little. We're going to read a short story about a woman who did just that to Jesus. So turn to verse 44 as we read just a few verses about this woman. Then Jesus said, he turned to the woman and said to Simon, Look at this woman kneeling here. When I entered your home, you didn't offer me water to wash the dust off my feet, but she has washed them with her tears and wiped them with her hair. You didn't greet me with a kiss, but from the time I first came in, she has not stopped kissing my feet. You have neglected the courtesy of olive oil to anoint my head, but she has anointed my feet with rare perfume. I tell you, her sins are many, but they are forgiven. You see, this is one of my favorite stories in all of the gospel because this woman who has this rare perfume worth a lot of money, okay, almost a year's worth of wages, has all of this perfume and yet takes all of it, not just part, not just some, all of it, and gives it to Jesus. Not only gives it to him, but shows her love for him through action of washing his feet, cleansing his feet, and then anointing his head with it, signifying him as the true king, the one who came to redeem us. Though it seems like she had very little to offer, and though her sins were many, she used what she had, and she loved greatly with it. How can you do that?